Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to Femhead. So I'm doing a like reflection in the mirror sort of thing in my bathroom because I was trying to find the right angle and stuff to film this. So if I'm looking a little weird, it's because I don't know where to look. But today I wanted to share with you what I've been doing for my like summer skincare routine. For me, summer is when my skin does best. It's when it needs the least amount of attention. The sun and summer and humidity just does great things for your skin. I've been trying out a lot of new products. Um, some of them were sent to me, which I'll talk about. My main goal with skincare is just usually hydration. I am pretty fortunate at this age to not have a lot of acne. Um, I do have breakouts and that sort of stuff, but right now my biggest concerns are hydration, aging, and I, I swear, I think it's eczema, but I don't know because I've never like got it officially diagnosed or whatever, but ever since being pregnant with Theo, I have had like little dry patches that then turn into like little spots and they're not zits they're just like dry patches that continue to dry and peel and dry and peel and never really go away and I currently have an itty bitty little scratch from Theo's little fingernails so I'm going to go through and talk about the different products I've been using and kind of when I use them because my morning routine which I'm going to do right now but I'm going to do kind of an extended version to show you the different things I've been using is pretty basic and I do most of my skincare heft at night. So the first product that was sent to me was the Foreo Luna 3. I have known about this for a while because of Kathleen from Kathleen Lights. She was like one of the first people I watched on YouTube. There's different ones depending on your skin type. So I got the sensitive one because I do just have like sensitive skin. My skin doesn't need much when it comes to cleansing. So I don't want to overdo it and strip my skin. So this is very gentle. I used to have a cleansing brush in the past, I think in college, but it was one of those where you had to replace the head every couple months, which was like 30 bucks or pretty expensive. So it's nice that you don't have to replace the heads on these and it's just very gentle. Both the Foreo products I got are controlled. Well, you can control them via the app. For the Luna 3, you can control like how intense the vibrations are. So right here you can control like the intensity. So it automatically is set on an eight. So you can go to massage treatments if you're doing like serums. This side is for cleansing your face. And this side with little ridges is to help your skin absorb serums. So you can use this to kind of give your face a nice massage. But for cleansing, I'm gonna use this side and it's just a silicone and it's just really simple and easy and nice. The two cleansers that I've been testing out, one of them is the frail one that they sent me, the microfoam cleanser. It's for all skin types. It has amino acids and vitamin E. So I've been using that one. Another product I've been testing out is Galini Foaming Facial Cleanser. And this was also sent to me, but this one's really unique because it doesn't actually have soap in it. This company is all about putting prebiotics, probiotics, and all that good stuff into their skin products. And they also have a pH level as a five. So it's the skin's natural pH level. Prebiotics, lactic acid. So it's just supposed to be very hydrating and not stripping. And then this one I also saw has been tested on people with eczema. So it's nice because obviously you don't want anything that's gonna like irritate it. So I'm gonna pair the Galini Foaming Facial Cleanser with the Luna 3 this morning. And I don't always wash my face in the morning. Usually I just don't have time taking care of Theo. Um, I wanna spend my time, he's napping right now, so that's why I'm filming. And usually I like to spend my time when he's napping working, but this counts as work. So I usually wash my face at night, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna wash it right now and show you. my face nice and saturated and then I'm going to take a pump of this and then I just kind of got an itch, dot it on the face and then you can use the app or you can just press the button the power button on the back but I actually want to amp up the intensity because it's usually set as a, at an eight so I'm just gonna ramp it up a bit and get going And I don't press down very hard. Okay. 
it doesn't look like it would get into like the nooks and crannies of your nose very well but i find that if you just kind of press in and push down it gets in there so i try to get around there because that's where like the gunk builds up i try to get around my mouth because that's where i'll get like the eczema spots and also on my forehead and then just kind of a general cleanse of everywhere else so then i'm just gonna rinse it off rinse my face pat my face dry and move on to the next step this is also water free so i've used it in the shower before when i'm trying to be super quick and multitask so my skin with this cleanser feels clean but it doesn't feel like stripped or tight but i do need to put something back on it another thing that i don't normally do in the morning but for the sake of the video i'm going to do is a mask i'm going to do a Foreo mask but i want to show you the other ones i'm using my favorite one because like in the summer when you're like sweating and gunky and if you'd like work out i don't work out we've all seen this one the aztec clay mask oh, i never tried this for the longest time because i was like clay is going to be too drying on my skin no it's perfect it doesn't dry your skin it just sucks everything out and you want to use it with apple cider vinegar so i just use the brags and i just absolutely want, love that one i have like a little ceramic bowl with like a little face spatula that i use so I'll use that one like every few weeks. If I just have like a lot of zits or just feel like build up and gunk, I'll put that on and just like sucks it all out. Another one that I use is the Ordinary AHA BHA Pilling Mask. And this is just a 10 minute mask. For the Aztec one, I just leave that on until it dries and like I can't move my face. This one you're only supposed to leave on for 10 minutes. So I use that one. And then another one that's similar, I believe, don't call me, to the Ordinary one these these is it a cure a cure i don't know but the intergalactic peel pads and so it's just kind of like a little cotton round that you rub on your skin and it has glycolic lactic hyaluronic acid i only have 10 of them so i don't want to like use them up too fast another one i like is the coco kind and shut the kale up sea clay mask so this is a little tube it's two ounces it's lasted a really long time but I also don't want to like use it up. It just came back in stock a couple weeks ago. So I think it should hopefully be there. But this one is a 20 minute one. And then the ones that I'm going to use today are from Freo. I've been testing them out. So they sent me the Call It A Night mask and the Make My Day mask. And so I'm going to use my Make My Day mask, which I haven't tried out yet because I always just like do my mask at night. So I just do the night one, but we're going to do the daytime one. The second cool little gadget they sent me was the Freo UFO. And I was really confused about how this worked <laughs> at first. So it used sonic pulsations. It has like heat as well as cooling elements to just really help the mask absorb in your skin. So if you don't have 20 minutes to let a mask sit on your face, this does it in 90 seconds. But because like I want to feel like I'm getting everything out of it, you can do it multiple times like you can just do it for the 90 seconds to be done but there's still like serum and goodness on there so i'll do it a second time sometimes a third time depending on how i'm feeling the ufo can also be ran through the app doo, doo, doo. so you press and hold the power button for five seconds and it kind of tells you like this is really helpful the first time you use it so you can choose the make my day or the call it a night but i'm going to do the make my day one hydrating and anti-pollution it has you scan the barcode on the mask okay secure the ufo and then tells you what to do looking at a line i always thought this was like the side of it but it's this side it lights up it says for you so this is where you take this little clear ring off Take the mask out of here and you put it in here. Squeeze all of the mask out of the top. Gently rip it open. And then there's extra like serum in here. Save that. So then it is this little like juicy pad. And you want to put that on the part that says Foreo where it's lit up. Flatten it out. And then you click this thing back in. So then it looks like this. And then you click start on your device. And it shows you what to do in here. And it starts warming up, which feels so luxurious and good. I'm not left handed, so I gotta switch. <laughs> and it plays nice music, so it's like a little spa treatment. It is nice, so it tells you what to do, it tells you what it's doing, and it just kind of gives you directions. <laughs> and there's something about the warmth and the heat. You can get your neck too. So it also, it's cooling down, but the LED lights are changing, so it was red. When it's warm, 
and now it's green and it'll tell you like what that's for. I turned it down so it's not like overbearing on the video, but. So there's an option on here to repeat the treatment, which I would normally do because I just want to use all the good juiciness up. But for the sake of today, we're going to move along with it. Take that guy out, rinse him off. So I'd normally do that like a second or third time, but there is a bunch of like serum left over in here. I'll pat this first layer in. I just love serum. And then I'm going to squeeze some more out and I will spread this on my face on my neck, on my shoulders, and I'll just continue to just layer this. And for the most part, like, I'm not super picky with masks. I don't like super drying ones. Like, I like the juicy, hydrating ones like this. And as long as they don't irritate my skin, I find that I usually react really well with them, but I always just kind of get the hydrating ones, unless I'm doing like a kind of a more peeling mask or one like the clay mask to get all the so you could also use the Luna 3 to help kind of massage this into your skin. And they have on the app different settings so you can get like a nice massage and it tells you like how to move it on your face, on your cheeks, up your neck. Uh, that's a nice option as well. I also put that on my hands, put it on my shoulders, usually during the day and at night I always use a serum. So I've been testing out the one from Freo, the Serum Serum Serum. So this serum from Freo has antioxidants, hyaluronic acid, squalene, anti-aging, hydration, all that good stuff. And it has these little micro capsules that help it get on the skin. So you can use this one just with your hands or you can use it with the Luna 3 with the ridge side. Another one I've been testing out is the one from Galini. This is their youthful serum. So the Galini one has prebiotics, probiotics, postbiotics. Yeah, soothes, renews, softens, hydrates, helps with signs of aging. I am 29 years old, I'll be 30 next year. And while I feel like my skin's pretty good, I am starting to notice those telltale signs of aging. You know, the crow's feet, the just lines, which I am accepting with grace because I have lived a lot of life to earn these things, but I wanna take care of my skin and kinda of treat it. Um, today, I'm gonna to use the Youthful Serum. I kinda of go back and forth between the two to get the benefits of both. I like a certain amount. I need a second kind of dropper. Spread it around on the neck. I try to get it around the mouth and on the forehead because that's where my spots are, and I do get spots kind of in the corners of my eyes as well. And normally I do my skincare routine for just a couple of minutes. Making a video is a great chance to just treat yourself. Rub and pat that in. Try to rub up. Don't pull too much at your skin. And then every now and then, not as much in the summer because just like the humidity stuff does a good job. But I find that for my eczema, the CeraVe really helps. When it was really bad when I was pregnant with Theo, this is literally the only thing that helped. So I focus where my spots are on like my forehead and my chin. At night, I usually put on a nice thick layer and in the winter, like I lather this on. When my, yeah, like I said, when my eczema is really bad, I put this on just a couple times a day and it made a world of difference. And normally I would do, I love oil moisturizers and I use those a lot in the winter, but with the eczema, I find that oil irritates it, so I have to be careful. I think that is everything. I will link all the different products I shared and talked about today, even the ones I didn't use. I love skincare, I love testing it out. Thank you to Freo and Galini for sending me some products to test out. Usually I will kind of just go about my day fresh face. Um, sometimes I will put a little bit of makeup on. I think today maybe I'll just kind of like put my eyebrows in place and put a little blush on, but I'm gonna leave my like spots to breathe. So I just want to show you my skin. Like that is a like eczema spot. These are all like spots that are not zits. They're like, I don't know, I, I swear it's eczema spots. But I would say other than that, I get the spots up here as well. That's CO, so don't mind that. But I feel like my skin's been pretty good lately if I am like filming or I don't go out because of coronavirus but um I just kind of put a little concealer on the eczema spots which you want to make sure you're moisturized before you put that concealer on because it will just like suck to that but I'm just gonna put a little 
blush and stuff on. Okay, so honestly not much difference. So I just put a little cream blush and highlighter on and a little bit of brow gel into my eyebrows even though it lasts for like two seconds. These brows just like to do their own thing, but that is where my skin's currently at. That's what I've been doing for my summer skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.